Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War. And today I'm going to go over a, a topic uh, suggested by John Fitzpatrick. Um, it's one that I've been asked many times by many different people, and it's all about your defend teams in Gems of War. Now, I don't have a very good uh, thing to show you on the screen here, except for let's go to PvP. So there's two different places where you have your defends. You have your PvP defend team, then you have your Guild Wars defend teams. So you have seven different defend teams in the game, okay? So there's PvP defense, and there's Guild Wars defense. So let's talk about PvP defense first, and then we'll talk about Guild Wars defense. Um, first thing you need to know about PvP defense is that um, it doesn't matter as much as you think. People always ask me about their PvP defend teams. How can they make a better team? How can they get more wins on defense? Like, they just keep losing on defense. Like, what can they do to get more wins on defense? They need to defend. They gotta defend. Well, this game is, is not like that. You need to just get that out of your brain space. Create some space for something else because your PvP, your PvP defend does not matter as much as you think it does. It does not. This is not a tower defense game it's not a um command and conquer or a starcraft or anything there's no defense you're not defending anything you're not defending your kingdom or something it doesn't matter it doesn't matter your defense does not matter especially pvp does not matter i'm not talking about guild wars right now we're just talking about pvp right your pvp defend team that i have right here just set to something random i think it changed it on me i don't even have it set for anything right now but this does not matter. Just forget about it. Quit asking. Don't worry about your PvP defense. Start thinking about something else. Don't worry about it. It does not matter. And if you want to get the most out of it, then you want to lose. You don't want to win. You want to lose. So, you got it totally twisted and you're worrying about it way too much if you're thinking about your PvP defense. I know at some point early on in the game it'll pop up and tell you that you need to set your defend team and it's important or whatever. It's not important. Don't even worry about it. There's some revenge rewards down here. There's some kind of rewards for, you know, winning and losing here. Just let me see. So, you know, look at my losses down there, whatever. Like, I've lost so many times with my defend team. Like, I don't even care. That's why. Um, and it doesn't really matter. You're not going to get much as much off of this as you think. You're going to get to tier 1, get the reward rewards for that, and then that's it. That's all you need. Even if you get knocked down to tier 2, you already got the rewards for tier 1. It doesn't matter. Now, the other thing I heard that was kind of crazy is someone said something about it um, having to do with your guild. No. No, that's totally false. Your player versus player defend team has nothing to do with your guild at all. Nothing to do with your guild at all. Your PvP defend team has nothing to do with your guild. It's only having to do with you and like a tiny bit of rewards you can get, uh, you know, if you get this revenge rewards. But even with that, the best thing to do is just to lose because then you can get more revenge battles by losing. If, you're, if your PvP defend team is always winning, you're not going to get re revenge battles. And it's easier to get these revenge rewards by losing and then fighting the revenge battles that they offer you. So if I go in here to uh, ranked, if I had been fighting in PvP, one of these might say like revenge or uh, uh, rival or something. And that comes from like a person beating your defend team, I think. And it might even might e not even be that. Um, I tried to look up more information online about defends and stuff, and there's n pretty much nothing out there, so... That's why, um, you know, I'm kind of happy to make this video too, but if you need more information on, like, the best defend teams, if you really, really feel like you want to set up a really good defend team that people can't beat just to annoy people or whatever, then go check out my best defend teams video from, it's called the best defend teams of 2019. Um, just type in defend on my channel, and I have a whole video about the best defend teams that I did last year. And uh, it says, in this Gems of War video, I show three of the best defend teams of 2019 with proof. Also, I, I show you how to always find the best defend teams no matter what level you are. 
So that's what that video is about. Basically, the I'll tell you here, just since this is about defense too, when you're fighting PvP and ranked, go to three trophy, fight three trophy battles, and anytime you lose, and write down the team, and there's a new defend team for you. Like, if it can beat you, it can probably beat somebody else. So that was the whole idea of that video, and I just let you know like what the teams were that were beating me and the whole idea behind doing that. But yeah, doesn't matter. You don't want to win. And the other thing about PvP defense is when there's a campaign going on, or uh, it used to be like adventure board, but now it's pretty much just the campaign, it'll ask you to beat Garganchar, or beat uh, Red Troops, or um, beat uh, War Gares, or whatever. Well, if you really want to be helpful to people, you'll set your whole team to Garganchar, or War Gear, or Red Troops, or whatever the campaign is asking for, so people can go into PvP and then get their campaign done based off of your team. Then they'll choose you more often, you'll get more people fighting you, you'll get more people beating you, and then you'll get more revenge battles that you can go take and get more rewards. So, and you'll get more people giving you like high fives and, and, uh, and that was fun or whatever and um, stuff like that, you know, your honors. So, it actually helps you catch more flies with honey uh, on your PvP defend. You want to set a team and the first thing you want to have in mind is what do people need to kill this week? Can I help them out? And then if there's nothing like this week, there's nothing this week. So this week, you would go ahead and set something just that they can beat easily. Set four firebombs so you're blowing yourself up. Set four sacrificial priests so you're killing yourself. Like, help them win, and they might give you some honors, and you might get a revenge battle. So that's basically it with the PvP defense. If you actually really do want to beat people, go check out that Best Defend Team of 2019 video. Or you can just do it yourself by fighting three trophy pvp and anybody that beats you write down that team and there you go um you can also uh, i think like fight your own team or whatever um yeah you can test your defense team so another thing you can do here is like test your uh guild wars defend teams here so you could go and you know make something your your defend team um let's see uh, you know, you set your defend team over here, and then you can say test defense team. So you could set, like, your defend team as your defend brown team. So brown days guild wars. And then you could test another team against that, that you're going to try to use on brown day and guild wars. So you can test your guild wars attack teams here, or you can test your guild wars defend teams here. Either way. you can. You can this is where you can test your guild wars teams. Um, but yeah, PvP, PvP defense are not what you think they are you don't want to make a good team that's winning you want to make a team that's losing or helping people out so you can either get more revenge battles to get more resources and rewards or more honors from people giving you high fives giving you that was you know that was good or whatever the heck it is let's see. i don't even know what they are honors i don't even really care about honors anymore but whatever helpful or that was fun or high five you know so you can get a lot of those just by setting a four firebomb team and people will pick you more often like i said and then you'll get more revenge battles which give you extra rewards for winning when you're doing pvp so the best thing to do with your pvp defense is first of all quit caring about it start caring about something else that's more important and second of all Set something that's helpful to the people that are fighting you. Don't try to beat them. Try to let them win or try to help them out by setting something that has troops that they need to kill or colors they need to kill or typing that they need to kill. And you'll know because it'll ask you in your campaign to kill the same thing it's going to ask them to kill. So basically uh, do what you would want them to do for you. All right, let's move on to Guild Wars PvP. I can't go and... um can't really go and I should have showed this on a different week but Guild Wars is a totally different story uh, you actually want to set um, 24 different troops so totally different you can't have two King, King Gob truffles you can't have like two of the same weapon you can't have two 
of the same troops. You gotta set 24 different troops, and that'll give you, uh, what, 24,000 points or something extra in Guild Wars. And you get that on the first day. Or it's 2,400. Was that 2,400 extra points on the first day? So Tuesday. That's why your score is always so much bigger on Tuesday. It's because you get your defense points on the first day. So if you look at your Guild Wars when you fight and go like 5-0 and on, month, on Tuesday, uh, your score is always way higher on the first day because they're giving you your defend points on the first day. Um, so next time you do Guild Wars, uh, pay attention to that. And uh, that's when you get your extra points for setting your 24 different defend troops. So just for Guild Wars defense, make sure you're just using 24 different troops. It doesn't matter if the teams are good. It doesn't matter if they win or lose. The first most important thing is that they're just different. So don't even have to use your hero or your class or anything. Just make sure they're different troops. 24 different troops. And uh, if you want to go further than that, you can try to make them teams that will actually win. This will help your guild to win because you're stopping the other guild from winning, which, you know, helps you win. You're helping your guild win. You don't get any points for it. You don't get any points if your defend team wins or loses, but you are stopping them from getting points. So it's more like a, a defending thing, like you're blocking a shot. Or um, t making a sack, or or tagging somebody out, uh, you know, you're uh, preventing them from scoring. So you do want to set a good guild guild wars defend team. But the first most important thing, just like with PvP defends, the first most important thing is just to forget about it and don't worry about it. The first most important thing with guild wars defends is to set 24 different troops, because that's how you're going to get the most points and help your guild the most. Um. After that, you can try to win. Like, a lot of people use the Yao Gui Queen Titania team on, um, I think, Brown Day because you can use Taipan or the, the Child of Summer or whatever will turn the brown into red, empowered, like, right away. So you're turning all the brown on the board to red. So on Brown Day, the team you're fighting needs all that brown. So you're immediately making it so the board has no brown right away. Turning all the brown to red. Empowered troop, turning all the brown to red right away. Getting getting rid of the color they need right away. There's also troops that do like triple damage to a certain color, which you can put on your defend teams for that color's day. And stuff like that. So, yeah. You can you want to try to win on Guild Wars defends, but you're not going to get any points for winning. You're just preventing the other guild from scoring. So, if you're like the champion, you're going to beat them so they can't make it to your paragon. Or if you're the Paragon, you're going to beat them so they don't go 5-0. and Or if you're a lower than champion, you're beating them so that they're stuck at your level and they have to fight at your level again. You know what I mean? So they won't go to the Paragon or the champion. So, yeah. Just think about that when you're doing your Guild Wars defense. You want to think about what day it is. And then think about, are you going to try to do triple damage against that color? Are you going to try to um, convert that color away so they don't have any mana? What are you going to do? So, that's pretty much all I know about defense. Um, PvP defense doesn't matter. It's not a tower defense or a, a RTS or anything. You don't need to defend your kingdom or anything. It's, it has nothing to do with anything. Just forget about it. Set a four firebomb team or, or a, a four... Who cares? Treasure team. Sacrificial tre... Who cares? Who cares? Set four goofy troops. Who cares? You know, do four champion of Anus if you want. It don't matter. Um, except for that, you want people to pick your team. So make it easy or make it something that they need to kill for the campaign. Then they'll pick your team and you'll get more revenge battles. Therefore, more rewards than if your team actually beat them. But like I said, if you do want to actually uh, have a good PvP defend team, which I don't recommend, go check out that video that best defend team of 2019 video like i said it has nothing to do with your guild pvp defend team has nothing to do with your guild at all um and uh yeah then on guild wars the most important thing is just to set 24 different troops 
doesn't matter what they are. They can just be 24 random troops. You'll get the same score as somebody setting perfect defend teams that win every t single time. You'll get both get the same amount of points. But the guy that's setting the perfect defend teams on Guild Wars that win every time is helping their guild, you know, to to not let the other guild score that's against them. To help their guild win. So, yeah. That's basically all I know about uh, defends. Um... Other, the other, one more thing, in Guild Wars, the only scores that actually count are the top 27 people in your guild. So, there's even, like, three people at the bottom of your guild that aren't even going to factor into your score. So, just keep that in mind, too. So, but yeah, that's all, basically all I know about defense. Sorry there wasn't much action on the screen here, but, um, yeah, PvP defense. Quit worrying about it so much. Who cares? This isn't tower defense. And then Guild Wars defends. Set 24 different troops. And that's the two things that matter the most. Alright. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. And uh, hopefully John that explains some things. Uh, John got to suggest this topic because he did tier 3 of the membership. And uh, you get to suggest what kind of video topic I make. Uh when you do tier 3 for 9.99. So I really appreciate that John. I hope this helped you out a little bit. Um if you have any more questions, put them in the comments. If anybody has any links about PVP defense or Guild Wars defense or has any thoughts or any good teams or you know, if I got anything wrong, anything, just put it in the comments. Anything you know about PVP de defense or Guild Wars defense or any kind of defense, put it in the comments please. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.